a black belt in karate Working for the city She has to discipline her body Cause she knows that Today's GeoQuiz question is, what is the largest lake in Africa? They don't believe it, but you won't let those robots defeat me. Those evil nature robots, they're programmed to destroy. Sydney High, it's Monday, September 30th. This is Barry Thompson. I'm Shai Broderick, and these are your morning announcements. Yearbooks are on sale now for $55 until October 4th. After October 4th, yearbook prices will revert to the regular price of $65. So save yourself some money and buy your yearbook today. Order forms are available in the front office or order online and sign up for the three month payment plan. Yeah, you need to save some money. That's good stuff. There will be an ACT exam prep course at Edison Community College. On, thir on Tuesday and Thursdays through October 14th. There are two times available, 4.30 to 6.30 and 6.30 to 8.30. The cost is $79. Please see your counselor if you have additional questions. This week only, if you buy anything from Jacket Shack, your name will be entered to win two free passes into the homecoming game. This Friday, September 4th, against Troy. Stop by and see our new spirit wear and stack up on your school supply needs. Yeah, I need a pencil and they gave me one. <laughs> that was hey nice. students, how would you like to be part of the most successful extracurricular activity in the SHS? Join the mock trial team. The mock trial t case this year is about a student group that is prevented from protesting and distributing leaflets by the school principal. The students are seeking a court order to allow the protest to move forward. If you are interested in becoming an attorney or witness for mock trial, please attend an informational meeting next Tuesday, October 8th at 2.35 in Mr. Bickle's room. If you cannot attend the meeting, you should see Mr. Bickle before next Tuesday talk to him about it. The next ACT test is October 26th and will be given at SHS. You must be registered by October 11th. Please see Mrs. Barton if you have any questions. Attention all National Honor Society members. You need to turn in your $15 dues to either Miss Thorne or Oak. The payment is due by the October meeting. Potential NHS members, remember to complete the service and leadership activity sheets and distribute copies to teachers by next Wednesday, October 2nd. Additionally, the original service and leadership activity sheet needs to be returned to Mrs. Thorne by the 3rd of October, by, oh, by 3 on October 2nd, I'm sorry. Don't forget to have your parents sign the back before you return to Mrs. Thorne. Remember, that's this Wednesday. Sophomores who are planning to participate in the homecoming parade must come to Miss Folk's room each day this week at 2.30 to work on the float. Only those students who will help will be permitted to ride on the float. Homecoming reminders. The pep rally is this Wednesday at 1.45. The parade starts from Holy Angels parking lot at 6.30 and ends with the bonfire pep rally at about 7. Friday crowning will take place starting at 6.30 and the dance is Saturday night at 8 p.m. ending at 11 p.m. Yeah, you're going to catch me there. Yeah, How about too. you? Okay. Yeah. Homecoming tickets are on sale, eight dollars each. All students are eligible, grades nine to twelve. No, no middle school students. Don't bring them, kids. There might be problems. Those students that wish to bring a guest from another school or a recent graduate must fill out a guest permission form before purchasing tickets. Guest forms are available from Mr. Bickle or in the main office. FCCLA dues must be paid to Mrs. Werns by October first. That's today or tomorrow. I mean, I'm sorry. There will be an after-school meeting this Wednesday, October 2nd, in room A211 for any student interested in joining the bowling team, Coaches Hines room, if you know who he is. College visits. Rhodes College is today at 10 a.m. 
Ohio State Cosmetology is tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Lake Campus is 10-7-2013. Ball State is at lunch on the 14th. Cincinnati is at 1 o'clock on the 15th. Bowling Green is on the 21st at 8 a.m. University of Finley is on the 22nd during lunch or at the, in the lunchroom, sorry. Cedarville University is on the 25th in the lunchroom. University is in Toledo on the 11th of November and Institute of Technology and Massage is, at, um, is on November 18th in the lunchroom. Thank you. These are your afternoon announcements. See ya. Hey Sydney, hi, I'm Tom Dunn with your weather today. And it's gonna be a high and low of 61, cloudy, maybe a little bit of rain here and there. And tomorrow it's gonna be a high of 79. All right, guys, I don't know if you're ready for this, this deep stuff right now, so you might want to pull on your floaties because this is, this is getting real deep. All right, this is by Eric Thomas. It's when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you'll be successful. And that's a great quote. Today's GeoQuiz question was, what is the largest lake in Africa? The answer is Lake Victoria.